not useful in any way. Not too far. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing Frisbee in the car park. <laughs> Alright, we're here with uh, Kelvin Hussman. Hey, how's uh, it going? What's your favourite item from Copeland? Um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't had anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like you're going to have fun tonight. Oh, Keegan. <laughs> How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, never better. Yeah? I'm in heaven. What are you looking forward to trying? The most? Um, Ooh. I don't know. Lolly cake, probably. Lolly cake? Yeah. Yeah, nice. lolly cake, eh? Nice. Welcome to the cycling top. Wall. <laughs> Tour of Southland Wall. Yes, yes, thank you. Tour of Southland. This is just kind of based off like what we did last year, which was kind of like one solid turn each with like maybe two people doing two turns. Yeah, she's going to be blowing like 40, 45k an hour that way, from what I saw anyway. So it's going to be block headwind up Herbert Street and then... Which is what, the third, the back straight? Yeah. Um, it's usually not too bad oh, down yeah. there. Down the Herbert's the short one up past the school. But yeah, I did write down kind of like a bit of a plan what I thought, but I'm happy to, if you guys have input. Um, so I thought that maybe if I started and then we put Glenn, Callum, Liam, Ari, then David, and then so I would just kind of like get us up to speed out the gate and then through the first corner and then you'd probably come through. Like headwind as. That's the difference last year in the times when we like analysed the shit out of Strava. Yeah. It was that back straight, whoever got the um, the wind gusts down there like massively got robbed at 5-6k an hour. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had yeah. tailwind. Yeah. We had tailwind down there. Well here's the weather mate. Yeah. 40 yeah. to 55. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the, that, that was the, that, that was who we were going off. Like their speed down that straight was like so much faster than ours, eh? Yeah. Everywhere else, obviously, yeah. pretty close. Yeah.
Yeah, none of us crashed, so uh, yeah, it's tough, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. tough to really, um, I was, so I, I didn't know what you were saying, so I didn't, I didn't swallow up, I didn't shut the boys, yeah, no, it was so hard, because I don't know about you, I couldn't see anything, like, yeah, mine's fogged up straight yeah, away, yeah, you're trying to, uh, it's really tricky, and then, 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 Pretty hard to do a team time trial with. Oh, second. Second, boys, fucking awesome. Tenth, of course, no sprints in the team time trial, but an opportunity. This is the uh, second team overall in the team time trial receiving, first right across the line, receiving the green jersey, folks. Would you put your hands together for Keegan Hornblow, Team Couplins, the Harcourt Sprint Ace. Would you put your hands together for your Stonewood Home Silver Jersey leader, Glenn Hayden of Team Couplins.
folks, would you put your hands together for Glenn Hayden here of Kirkland's for the Stonewood Home Silver Jersey. Oh, we, you don't want to watch this. <laughs> it's a serial pitch and bang. Dressed up as an all black and had 69 on the date for shooting his number. And when he <laughs> stood with him for the national anthem. <laughs> right there. Time and video and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, my apologies to Keegan and the sorry to be the bearer of bad news. All right, no, thanks for giving me that. That's that call. Cool. Right, so we're just about, uh, well, we've got to make phone calls before we actually officially publish the results. So, um, yeah. So the tour director knows, you know, so Kevin will know soon. And we'll give the other one a call. Yeah, no, all right. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your understanding. Yep, cheers. See ya. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Do we get to keep the jersey? Tell me one conversation. <laughs> Quick, take some photos of it, post it all over Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably quite happy we didn't post it all over Facebook. Yeah. Note is that we should look at the latest weather update. Um, going to start off like this, but as you go through the day, it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Oh, and in your last hour is going to be at 45k an hour plus. Um, it's probably because that's still a decent length, so it's probably still 800 out, you would think, roughly yeah. that left. Yeah, we still need to probably even maybe t oh, 1k, no. um, so it's over a k hour. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but that left is going to be a key. That's going to be a key oh. point if we want to set anyone up for the sprint. Eh? Yeah. Like if yeah. we're not in position, oh, if you're that, not even in position like back here, you won't. Yeah, get man. The corner. So if we're, is any, is anyone wanting to have a gallop today? Are they um, line up to finish? A gallop. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. We'll just. It's going to be a whole weekend sprint day. Eh? And it's going to, and this, the race day, looking at the wind, is probably going to broke, be broken down into groups yeah. today. But for whatever reason, if we're all together, um, we'll just communicate with you and Liam, and see who's feeling up to it, and we do, both you are, and we've just got to make sure that, our usual story, that left hand is going to be so critical. <laughs> Righto, Glenn, uh, first stage, or technically the first road stage of the tour, how are you feeling? Yeah, not too bad, keen to get it underway. Um, good to dust the cobwebs off yesterday and um, yeah, prepare for hell today, we're guessing with the wind, so it's going to be pretty tough. A few new challenges for Southland with the gravel and uh, yeah. yeah, it's going to throw a bit of a curveball, I think, for everyone, so um, expecting some selections to be made today, so um, yeah, she's going to be character building. Yeah, obviously the last time you did the stage was two year ago, years ago with Chris Butler. That was a pretty hard day, so obviously you're expecting expecting the worst. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, expecting the worst. Um, that was a big day, um, echelons for the second half of the race, and um, yeah, we've got some a few key details today where we think things are going to light up. So yeah, we're expecting that um, we're all going to sleep well tonight. That's for sure. <laughs> awesome. Good luck, mate. Cheers, bro.
Michael Vinkel come in solo. That is an outstanding effort in very challenging conditions today. Lumsden on this longer stage as the next two riders line themselves up for the sprint finish for second and third. It is Logan Curry, recently returned from the World Championships. He's in the under 23 lead. He's trying to hold out Hornblow as they go to the line and it looks like the man in pink will hold on. Two and now for a few years. How did that stage actually sort of measure up to the typical way we come to Lumsden? Yeah, that was awesome. That's uh, bike racing at its best. Those gravel sectors really uh, played their part today and um, that first one especially, that was wild. Um, to make that front group, you felt more like you're on a motocross bike than a push bike. It was, uh, yeah, it's pretty wild around the turn. So, um, no, I really loved that. And the last third of the race was just brutally hard with the wind and, the, um, you know, the selection. So, uh, yeah, really good day. Great day for our team. Um, we had a third across the line with Keegan and uh, Liam in the early break and Ari in the selection as well. So, Really good day for us. You have summed it up nicely with your team. They've done a fantastic effort here today. Well, congratulations once again being in the silver jersey. Folks, would you put your hands together for Glenn Hayden? <laughs> so there's Keegan, I'm um, going into day three to Tiana, obviously you got Black Mount to come yesterday, you got third on the stage which is obviously a pretty good result for you and you're sitting third on GC, what's the plan for today? Yeah, yeah, very happy after yesterday, um, pretty hectic uh, with the crossies and the gravel but it was nice to have me, Glenn and Ari all up there at that final split. Um, today might have a few crossies heading around the coast. Um, and then hopefully it might chill out and let a break go over Black Mount through into Tiana, but we'll see. We'll yeah. see in the final. Might try and try and get up. Definitely we'll be keen not to lose any time. So yep. Mm -hmm. All good. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, mate. Nice, thanks. Keegan's up the front too. Radio Chief, Steve Brown. Yes, we're probably on the right channel now, thank you very much.
yeah. as well. So. Campbell, that's the that's the best ride I've seen in this tour. That's insane. Like to solo before well, well before Black Mount and to hang away is insane. How did you get five and a half minutes? Bro, because like we had a we had a lull, but we were still kind of yeah. And it was just ridiculous, eh? You must have just been fucking head down 45k an hour, just killing it, eh? Wait. But I saw you guys coming across that um, front group. <laughs> I got shelled over there. I was like, right, 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 I'm trying to sprint and get on. <laughs> 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 yeah. no, oh, Wait, and like, you came up and you're like, like Ari, you want a bottle of that? This shit. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. touch my bottles at all. Really? That far. Yeah, um, it sort of seems a bit like last year actually. It started like this, but he's never far away. In fact, he was the upper hand most of today. He was uh, sneaking away a fair bit and I might have been on the back foot. But um, yeah, fortunately, um, yeah, finished off all right for me, but a couple of things to work on. I was caught napping once or twice, so uh, yeah, and Oddie won't be. So yeah, got to keep sharp and um, yeah, plenty of racing still to go. Well, congratulations on your efforts again today, folks. Will you put your hands together for Glenn Hayden of Team Cooklands? This is our morning routine when we're on the road because basically we can't get any people in here because we've got so much stuff because we're moving from like town to town. So all the riders go in that van. We've got seven bikes in the back and then like, I don't know, another seven sets of wheels, all of the boys' bags, and then we can only get two people in the van, but it, it somehow works. Look at that. It's chugging it. <laughs> heading into the bluff stage um, tomorrow and uh, yeah he stuck it to me so I've got to keep the head screwed on we're in a good position at the moment I don't mind the climb so we'll uh, yeah see what we can do today
coat. Uh, not yet, it's a big model. Right. Good work, mate. Mm -hmm. Is that all? Yeah, mate. Is that all? Yeah. Just water, please, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Water. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, Glenn, another big day here on the tour. You're looking a bit weary after yesterday. Uh, feeling a bit better today in the sunshine. Yeah, had a good sleep last night and liked the look of the weather report this morning. So, uh, yeah, positive vibes and, yeah, we got the job done. Another good day for the boys. We had two in the break, um, which takes the pressure off us and the Palo. Just had to stay safe and climb that brute as best as I could. You had a fine ride up that climb there today and, of course, you've now extended this lead here. So that must be a nice feeling going into tomorrow towards Bluff with a decent sort of a buffer. Yeah, it's a, a nice feeling, but, hey, you know, Tour of Southland, you miss wrong one move and... <laughs> Things go south pretty quick, so um, yeah, no, just got to stay sharp and um, yeah, keep an eye on what Oddie's up to and uh, yeah, see how we get on. The other road, so that, that's my main objective. I'd say it's going to be a pretty aggressive day. You've got the likes of Creation Signs that have got hold of the green and want to keep it, and are only two points off KOM as well, so. Yeah, so I'm guessing George and Paul are going to be going on that's happy. Yeah. Yep. So if you're around there, you yeah. Yeah, pretty safe. Probably going to get into a group. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, like, if you are in a group with Ollie, Glenn's not there. You don't have to worry. Yeah, about Korea. Korea. <laughs>
<laughs> went twice, eh? Ah, oh, sorry, Callum went twice. So he went with the first break, they got out to two minutes, 40 odd. Then they got reeled back in by the chasing bunch. And then four of them went again, and Callum was in that bunch again. Yeah, awesome. And then three, sorry, went again, and then Mudgeway bridged across. Mm. Where Murray, that's like, attacked I, into the left just, hander. Like, that's where I went. They um, put some time into carry. Oh yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, um, just up here, so he came in together. Mm. Yeah, so he had a good time. Yeah, um, eight, I think. Did Black Smoke get anything else out of that? Like, um, over yeah, they put all nah. the eggs It was yeah. so mean. They all sat on and were like, yeah, we're going to get yellow. And then, <laughs> so Bat sat on the front for like an hour, and then Kian started rolling, Callum started rolling. Sam Ritchie. Uh, but we're, our, the yellow. last time check just yeah, over here we was two minutes. off when he came down the hill, eh? It was a minute 30 at the bottom of the hill. Oh, yeah. In this particular category for a few days, I'll remove the mask for the photo. Uh, Doing a fine effort as is Team Kuklins over the last couple of days. Folks, would you put your hands together for Glenn Hayden, Team Kuklins, the Stable Home Silver Jersey leader. Folks, would you put your hands together for Callum Nisbet. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll be just trying to stick it to me all day. Like the up until the point we missed that selection today, he was pretty active the whole time. Yeah. Um, well, he had a couple of goes at going away. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I was sort of going a little bit offensive. I was having quite a few goes too. Um, and then yeah, just tried to always know where he was. Like yeah, just keep an eye on him and um, be within kind of sighting distance if I didn't need to. Do something so. I don't know if we could find out where some of the hills are, it would be good to write them down. Well, I suppose we ought to get the KOM, but um, Hedgehog, yeah, Black Foot might try and light it up through there. Eh? So, there's two cat three times in, and that's at 130 and 148. The seat, the cat four climbs are at 116 and 118. Rubbing or something. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Sorting out the Yeah, wouldn't want to get dropped. Because a guy like this. came running up with wheels. Yeah. And he's like, nah, nah, and just he's the like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, it's all good. I might do that tomorrow, eh? <laughs> dum, dum. Yeah, just got to adjust my seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of you adjusting your bloody seat. Tomorrow's the last. Big day, really, too, but I was just going to throw it all out. Yes. I reckon. Tommy Sexton already said to me that's what his objective of tomorrow is to win every sprint. So, <coughs> that's what Black's going to be doing. Is he with the Should we just range off with the green? Oh, he just wants to them. That's coin now for them. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing the editing. <laughs>
over somewhere up there. Yeah. <laughs> then you get on top and it's not over yet. You're still out of the seat on the flat. So those little gaps. And, oh, just this for now. That was such a brutal day, eh? It's grippy even in the wheels half the time, especially the last third. Up over those bergs and I don't remember those bergs being so big. I don't I didn't I knew the one um the one that you you sort of wind up, I knew that was about how I remember it, but the one there's two rollers about fifteen K before that, twenty K before that. Yeah, yeah. And they were pretty grippy, eh? Supposed to take the credit card. Mate, I was at the back lunch. Yeah, bro. He was humping. You had to sit out in the wind a little bit, eh? Hey? Yeah. He wanted to keep us in the front, which was good because it had gone all sick. <laughs> you were just. Well, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you just tried hitting the wind. It wouldn't have mattered, though. It would have been in the wind. Just gone. For that effort, bro, you did effort, let's say. You a bit of a recap, we've just finished stage six. So we've got two more stages, we've got the TT tomorrow, which is um, we obviously get up for Glen, and then we've got the 77K, We Glen actually took the silver jersey um, three or two or three years ago. So we're in a pretty good position every day, Glen's been slowly getting more and more time on Oddie. So hopefully we'll um, keep the silver jersey and get kicking up for a sprint. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it like an angle like this. It is a tough life. It's huh? usually the, the younger ladies that are chasing them though, but he'll be impressed now. <laughs> no, <laughs> older ladies. Oh, that's <laughs> Circuits. Yeah, the time 16.43865. Of course, the time he can produce, because quite used to the solo efforts in the time trial. I've seen a number of times when it's come to this time trial here on national championships at the Masters level. As we now repeats some more times we've come through. Okay. So, Glenn Hayden, number 81, underway here for Tino Williams.
dusty. We'll see how it goes. Air pressure still felt, felt quite high out there, eh? Like it. You're talking garbage. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That hurt. Yeah, you're in the hot seat though. Yeah, sweet. 16, 14, I think. Yep. So it's good. Odd, Oddie's in second. What did he do? I don't know. He's just, I think he's like 20 seconds back. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Just felt like it's a couple of percent off, but it was everything I had anyway. Yeah, I think that was as much time as I possibly can. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, mate, you pace it real well, eh? Solid run, mate. Lost my voice in the shadow. Oh, it's it's Do you want me to talk you through this? Oh, you can keep the candle if you want. Yeah, alright, so none of these mean anything to me, except that one there where I'm like, hallelujah, it's over. Yeah, that's the problem. Fuck off, I did that yesterday. Can Tom say something about the last stage? There's nothing to say. Basically, Glenn's got the jersey wrapped up, but don't let him hear that. And um, basically, he's got three minutes up his sleeve. If the boys do their job, we're going to be drinking beers in about an hour and a half.